Welcome to another episode of your support group podcast. This is your host, Kenny. And Q. <laughs> <sighs> but should I introduce us as the best two people over the age of 40 that look better than some 20 and 30 year olds? Can we get a <laughs> shout out for that? Can we can we can we get some horns for that, Kenny? Can we can we can we get a round of applause or something for that? That's that's way turned down. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. All right. All right. All right. So, what did you do for Halloween? How was your week? How was your Hallow's Eve? I taught the class. Yeah, because there was still people at the gym working out. <laughs> so. Did y'all uh, dress up in costumes? Some people did. Some people wore costumes. I, I did not. Twerking in costumes. Cause uh, no, we actually I, on that day I taught a, a weightlifting class. So, oh. But I did go to work dressed up because they were having a costume contest uh, at work. Yeah. Oh mind. yeah. Look now, if y'all don't know, Q don't been into like fitness competitions and everything like that. So she she can get buffed on you real quick. <laughs> <laughs> The body has already been trained for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't do much. Uh, Carson, she the only one that wore a costume in the house. So, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. We, we really didn't do much, though. Um, normal Halloween for me because I eat candy every day, you know. But speaking of Halloween, did you know that people... In America, oh, I think, let me see. Let me get my facts right. Hold on. Let me get my facts right. Okay. People in the U.S. spent close to $12.2 billion on Halloween. It exceeded last year's record of $10.6 billion. Mm. Dang. That's a lot of Halloween. So with that said, and I know some of y'all because I'm, I'm the same way. With that said, can you only imagine how much they're going to spend on Christmas this year? A trillion dollars. <laughs> Is that a number? <laughs> a trillion. Hey, if, if it can be spent, it can be spent. <laughs> um, and, and like I said, I'm, I'm one of those people because I, I know somebody is going to say, well, what about Thanksgiving? Y'all just going to skip over Thanksgiving and just start discussing Christmas? Listen, Everybody forgets about Thanksgiving. <laughs> Why you say that? <laughs> yeah, you know, you know how people are they, when they get in the comments. Hey, um, y'all not gonna talk about uh, Thanksgiving? It's the turkeys and stuff, they cost a lot of money, and um, the stuffing, you know, stuffing ain't cheap. You know, pig, pig, and ham hocks, and, and them pumpkin beans and stuff to go with the the casseroles and stuff they, they cost a lot of money yeah and I know Thanksgiving is a big spin but I know something that's even more of a big spin and that's Christmas see the thing is and this is this is what I always tell people you know when it comes to Christmas spending do what you can do what you can None of, cause at the end of the day I mean, you just, you're just spending money for one day. You know, you got more than one day out of the year where you got to take care of your kids, take care of your family, do for other people and all that stuff. Like I told my sister, I don't owe you no Christmas gift. I've been doing for you throughout the years. Yeah, right. <laughs> Tally's <Yeah>. up. <laughs> yeah. It equates, you know. Um, you know, as your kids get older, though, you start to realize something that they didn't really care about the stuff that you got them you spent and this is my thing i've watched people spend like four or five hundred dollars on their kids and be like oh this is why i bought them christmas and do all this clothes and shoes and all this stuff like that and in three months the kids outgrow all that <laughs> so today we gonna talk about your christmas spending because uncle kenny and Aunt Q feel like 
y'all might be getting a little bit out of hand because if Halloween is any indication, then I'm pretty sure Christmas is going to be like a hundred million this year. It's possible. I don't plan on Very. spending too much. That's for sure. I tell you what, I'm not gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> this is my thing. All right, I got three o. So, and 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 I've always told my kids this. You know, every last one of my kids, I did the same thing. Pick three gifts, and that's what you get. You know, if I want to add a little something to it or add some accessories to it, I'll do that. But pick three gifts, and that's what you're going to get. Because why? Like I said, I do for you throughout the year. 365 days a year, you are getting something. Every time I go to a store or something like that, Daddy, can you get me? Yeah. That counts. Merry yeah. Christmas. And you'll even catch me saying it to some people. Be like, uh, Merry Christmas. Yeah, because that's your Christmas gift. Um so what I do is with the three gifts, you know, I set my little budget and I go with the three gifts. Now that the teenagers are older, they get this straight money because you're old enough to make a decision on your own, buy your own stuff. Oh, that's not a real gift. You know, you should be given. Shut up. <laughs> it's my money. All right. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even about to be sit. Listen, I got three daughters. If I sat around and thought about it or tried to listen to conversations and stuff like that, it would get out of hand real quick. Cause I'd be like, no, no, I'm not, I'm not listening to this conversation. I don't want to know what you're talking about. So I give money. And then for the little one, I do the same philosophy I did for the big ones when they was little. Give you three nice gifts and that's it. And Carson her Christmas is already done. <laughs> that was real simple. Soon as soon as I seen her, ooh, daddy, I want, ooh, daddy, I want, ooh, daddy, that's three wants. That's what you get. It's easy when they're that little, though, because they don't even be knowing what Christmas is, honestly. Mm -mm. You can give mm -mm. them a, a toy box, and they'll be like, oh, my God, this is the greatest box ever. It's a right. box. <laughs> and and then, the, not to say that I'm going to cheap out or anything like that, but then this is what I can do, too. I give you the three, the three gifts, three big gifts, and then what I do is I go to the store and get a bunch of little cheap Barbie dolls. They may not be Barbie dolls. They may, uh, may be uh, Ray Ray dolls or Sheena dolls or Pam dolls or something dolls, but they're going to be cheap. And I get you a whole bunch of them. <laughs> <laughs> with a whole bunch of cheap accessories probably cost me about $20 the doll head probably pop out and I'm throwing it in the bag I don't care I'll pop back on and throw it in the bag but the point of it is at the end of the day you're going to outgrow that stuff and when it comes to kids especially they're going to either outgrow it or they're going to tear it up or they're going to make you regret that you spent all that money buying them all this expensive stuff within a couple of weeks why? because they going they going to go back to school, they going to act a fool. That's just a variable. Or they going to do something as far as like your chores or anything like that. You tell them to clean up your room, and they're, "Oh, I'll do it later." You remember that $500 PlayStation up? You better clean this. <laughs> you better scrub it. <laughs> Cuz I had to go and scrub at a job for that $500, so you going to scrub this room. Right. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm just not going to be one of those parents. Like, I don't regret nothing I bought you. Because at the end of the day, that's all right. Because you're going to want something from the store. <laughs> you want something, you know? Yeah. Q, what do you do for the Christmas holidays? Um, I let them do a list. It's not necessarily three things, but I let them write your stuff down and I tell them put stars by the most important things that you really want, like prioritize because you might not get everything on the list. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You might not get it. All. Exactly. <laughs> so stars by the things that you really absolutely want. And then me and the husband, 
we kind of, it's like, and I hate to, to say this to sound like, oh, whatever, but like even for this year for my birthday, I told people, don't buy me presents. Like I got enough stuff. Just, I just want experiences. I think once you get to a certain age, you just want to experience things. Like let's right. go do stuff together. So for me and him, like let's not buy each other a gift, but then later on, like maybe in for uh, spring break, let's go somewhere. Let's go for a weekend away. Let's just save our portion of the money to do that later down the, the road. But don't buy me nothing because I don't really... I don't really like to me to sit there. So I want this. I can't think of nothing that I really want. Like I got right. a bunch of purses, a bunch of shoes, a bunch of clothes. I got jewelry. You ain't outgrow just, your stuff. You know, at, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Unless I gain like a considerable amount of weight. Like I'm still wearing clothes from years ago. So yeah yeah they get to and then my oldest kids i just usually send them a couple of hundred dollars and call it a day yeah, yeah. that's all you get or that's like get. one year i was like i ain't buying nobody nothing but pajamas and that's what they got <laughs> exactly exactly it's pajamas. the thought that counts right pajamas it's the thought that counts yeah, yeah. um with uh me and my wife we're we're very similar um, I got a stupid amount of shoes for a man, uh, so <laughs> can't buy me shoes. Um, right. and and all I ever really do request is if somebody buys me a gift, socks, underwears, tank tops, those things wear yeah. out over time. Yeah, I can always use those. Other than that, right. my wife would tell you I'm probably about the hardest person to shop for because it's like, what do you want? Well, I want a Corvette. Um, <laughs> I would like a new piece. Can't say that on YouTube or wherever this is being projected, but you know what I mean, a new piece. And that's about it. I, oh, I can use a, a new gold chain that I'm probably never going to wear because I don't be out there wearing jewelry like that. So, I mean, it, it, it's just hard, you know, when you when you shopping for your spouse. It, like my wife. You know, I asked her, what does she want? And she was like, uh, you know, you know women, because you a woman. So <laughs> it's like, yeah. and I was like, okay, <laughs> yeah. And then uh, I heard her talking about this perfume that she had sprayed at Ulta. Ulta, or however you pronounce it, but you know what I'm saying. The expensive yeah, ass Ulta. place where black folks go and we look around and be like, oh, I ain't about to be buying nothing up in here. That place. Oh, yeah. Um, and she was talking about this perfume and how good it smelled. And I was like, oh, what's the name of it? She was like, it's in the uh pink and black box. I was like, hmm. I was like, are you talking about Eve Saint Laurent? She was like, Yeah, the, I I believe that's what it is. And so I looked up online and I bought it. And that was her Christmas gift. She already got it. The house smelled like the damn bottle now. Cause she don't went through the house spraying herself like, oh yeah, I love it so much. Yeah, I couldn't wait. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> that's the way our Christmas work. Like, we don't do Christmas on Christmas Day. Like, so with me and her, it's just like, here you go. Yeah. Merry Christmas. You know. But I mean, just the same way. Like we we talk about going places and doing things. Like our money is in making you know our children lives easier and different things like that so i mean we we trying to enjoy our life you know even with a three-year-old at the same time <laughs> pack yeah. her back and bring her along or take her to grandma's house but still we we want to enjoy our money you know so and just about i mean it's just about choices and priorities and and when you when we was talking about the gifts you know, I, I tell people all the time, you know, having a budget is like messing with a Rubik's Cube, you know. So when Q was saying that, well, you may not get nothing on everything on this list. Well, what happens is we got the big gift. Oh, you'll really like that. <laughs> yeah. 
But let's look down here on this list. Up, oh, that's twenty nine ninety nine. Up, oh, that fits. Yep. <laughs> and that's the way you know. That I I tell everybody that's the way I work it too as well. Like, okay, let's let's see what the low hanging fruit is here. Hmm. All right. Yep. 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 I can definitely get you that uh, Victoria's Secret pink sweatsuit. That fits in the budget. But this up here, this purse that costs like five hundred dollars, nah, bro. Yeah. That don't fit in my budget. <laughs> that don't fit in my it's budget. It's not gonna fit in my budget. Like I'm Man. cool with. I guess, it, and I'm not downing anybody who likes to go because if you make that kind of money and you want to go spend two thousand dollars on a purse, that's your business. I'm just not about to do it because I spend money other places that people might be like, "Oh, you went, you went there, and you spent all that money on a trip." And I could say, "Yeah, I did, and I had a good time because that's where." I like to travel, so that's where I spend money. And you can see on my posts, like we always go, <laughs> we, we we be yeah. out, <laughs> we be out. Yeah, because it'd be some days where we want to do the podcast, and I'd be like, "Hey, Q, what you doing? Uh, not this weekend." <laughs> I'm like, "Where the hell are you?" <laughs> well, we went. <laughs> I'm like, "Damn, this is gone," you know, but. That's one of the privileges and the pluses of, you know, you having older children too, because, yeah. you know, with us, it's like, I gotta yeah. make sure you go to school, you know, with, you know, with older kids, it's like, hey, go food, hey, go keys, don't have nobody in my damn house. See, you want to get back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And plus, you know, even if we take them with us, they're old enough. Like when we went to Boca, like we weren't, we wanted to go out check out downtown y'all can stay in the room mm. we'll be back <laughs> you know it's like you can leave the older kids in the hotel room and go do what you gotta do go have right. your little party time get your little drink and drink on hey, hey. But, yeah yeah i mean even when we was like to to rewind back even when we was talking about you know spending boatloads of money on purses you know, well, the most expensive purses, I mean, you can't even get in the store to get them. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, almost like a ticketing system. You got to get a ticket and hope that your number is called for you to go pick up this expensive purse. So most of the time you get in secondhand purses or either it's bootleg. So if you see somebody that live in the projects wearing a Hermes bag or some other expensive name bag, it's probably bootleg. But or secondhand, which even at a secondhand market, they still run in thousands of dollars. So, I mean, it's it's all about priorities and budgeting. I mean, you could do it. And that's great. But why? Yeah. Why attract that kind of attention, you know? And to fast forward, you know, I, I can't wait for Carson to be old enough to be like, hey, <laughs> you want to bring your cousin with you? Because <laughs> you got a cousin about the same age. Hey, you want to bring your cousin with you on this trip? Yeah, y'all go ahead and go chill by the pool. We'll be right. up over here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. So I I just, you know, I hate when I hear, now here go the flip side. I hate when I hear uh, parents, you know, stressing up over things like Christmas and the holidays and stuff like that. And they're like, well, you know, I want to do this and I want to do that. You know, like I, I was telling a young lady I work with, you know, as long as you can do something, that's all that matters. You know, it don't have to be the most expensive, you know, or go even cheaper and get more stuff. You know, sometimes you got to pinch a penny, you know, and, and when they, when they're small, they don't understand. It's only you that's wearing that, you know, like Q said, they, they can care less. They like, Ooh, a tree. Right. <laughs> and they got some boxes. <laughs> <laughs> can I, you and know, they especially also, when they're real small. Look into programs too. Cause when I was in the military, they used to have this, uh, I didn't even know about it. My supervisor signed me up for it. It was like a wish list. He was like, uh, what would your kids like for Christmas? And he said, don't, just write it down. Don't think about cost. Just write it down. Because there were like people who were philanthropists who were looking to give like those types. So I put PS2 at the time that was really popular then. 
and they bought the PS2 for my son, my oldest son at the time. He was younger than, and I was like, okay, there's programs. And then they even gave me like a hundred dollars worth of uh, grocery money. So I bought Christmas dinner with a hundred dollars. It's like there's programs right. out there. There's stuff. Yeah, they are. You know. So ask yeah. around because you never know. It's not about what you know. It's about who you know and what they know. And if you don't ask, guess what? You ain't gonna get it because sometimes nope. the information is not boom. It's not right out there. But if you if you mention something to somebody, maybe they might know. Or you Google it. Right. Toys for Tots be giving out toys. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. Um... Even when I was a kid, I mean, we didn't, we didn't always have. So, I mean, it was, it was a place that we got toys from when you, you know, it was some, some pretty nice stuff, you know, brand new, you know, remote control cars and different things like that. So, you know, th those are things that are out there to help you. Um, and I hate it that it's, it's kind of hard to find nowadays, especially even more, but there are programs about there. You just got to. Just look and search, you know, and those programs, um, they can help. Also, too, like I said, just don't don't go so wildly when it's kids, especially don't go so wildly when it's somebody that's not your significant other. <laughs> like if it's a girlfriend, one gift is enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, if I see... If I, man, if if I see somebody that say, "Oh, I just met this girl three months ago, and you bought her all this shit," <laughs> now you gonna make some poor girl come in the comments. Don't you be telling my boyfriend not to give me a whole bunch of gifts, <laughs> bruh. Hey, you, mm -mm -mm. nah, because you ain't seen everything. If especially if you ain't met her mama, her daddy, her family, and nothing like that, I ain't buying you no gift. Girl, you lucky you get a sweater. Yeah. No, you know, and and vice versa. You know, like I like I I got sisters, I got I got nieces, I got cousins. You know that are female. You know, so like I tell them, like I don't know what to get my boyfriend. Buy him one freaking thing. Like, don't be out here just splurging money on somebody that's not you don't have the title to. <laughs> I'm not listen, I'm not gonna buy a new engine for a car if I don't have a title to it. Right. If I don't have a title to that car and I'm still making payments on that car, guess where it's gonna go? Seven years later. <laughs> Seven years later, you can have this car right on back. I ain't losing nothing. <laughs> yeah, so that's just my advice. That's all. You know, don't kill the messenger. Don't be in the comments talking about some, you don't tell my boyfriend, you don't, you don't tell me what to buy my girlfriend. Then go out there and go buy it. Yeah. I don't care. It's your money. Exactly. Do what you want. Speak. Blow the whole paycheck. Do whatever you're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> do what you want to do. <laughs> but when you in the house eating ramen and you scrolling through Instagram and you see her out there partying with your necklace that you don't bought her, and hug it up on some other dude. <laughs> you, you see him with his sweater on that you bought him and all the girls is around him and he around there just jiggling like this. Remember what Tragedy. I said? Tragedy. <laughs> you can't get mad. Nah, you went out there and you did all that. Yeah, so. Any advice for him, Q? Out there? Um. Yeah, like, like we said, let's just reiterate a few things. Number one, if your child is really small, they're not really looking for a whole lot. Don't go crazy. Okay. If you have children within a certain age range, I would say about five to about 11 or 12, they might want a whole lot, but just explain to them, like, look, if, if, if times are hard, you need to have that conversation with them. Like, mama going to try to get you X, Y, and Z. We're not getting everything on this list. Just be expecting. All right few key things and if you have older children like teenagers they're at an age where they can understand finances and that's why i always say it's important to start explaining 
the stuff that didn't get explained to us when we were little. I didn't right. do X, Y, and Z, but you already know if it's tight here, like you want a roof over your head or you want a new pair of Jordans because you can't live in no pair of Jordans. Now, nope. I can get you the Jordans. You can walk in them. Gonna you can home. walk in them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you be walking outside. You know? And you'll never be able to take them off. Because it's priorities. It's about, there's a lot of times when my mom had a conversation with me, she was like, my mom was, she had a very meager income. I could buy one bicycle. I said, give it to my brother. We can share the bike. If I want to ride it, I'll ride it. If I don't, I won't. But just give it to him because he was younger. You know, and then when I got to be 14, I got my own job. I could buy whatever I want. And then I was still right. give us some money. But yeah, don't yeah. don't stress yourself. Don't go broke. Don't get going to credit card debt. Don't do a whole lot of crazy stuff just for one. Don't get day. a job at the strip club because you want to buy Christmas gifts. <laughs> <laughs> Men don't be out here making OnlyFans, <laughs> trying to fake it, trying to fake it like it's women feet. Talking about only feet. <laughs> no, don't be out here doing that. Uh, oh, I trust yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, just, just do it in reason. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Because at the end of the day, with the gas prices dropping, you know what they're trying to do. They're trying to entice you to spend that money. And then with all those issues going on in the Middle East or whatever, when soon as January hit, they're going to raise up them gas prices. And you're going to be struggling. So take it from me and Q. Do the budget and reason. And if you still wondering about life and nobody told you today, guess what? We love you. And if you haven't had the opportunity, go ahead and check out our website, www.ysgpodcast.com, where we got blogs videos, all our seasons, because we on season four. So all the other seasons, even before we did video, are on that website. Go ahead and check it out. Also, too, you can get our merch. They make good stocking stuffers and Christmas gifts <laughs> at our website, www.ysgpodcast.com. Yeah. And we'll see you later. Peace. Yes, 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 yes,